Artificial intelligence is making it even easier for scammers to trick us. Yeah, the technology is being used to create hyper-realistic videos and audio to impersonate people. Yeah, Kelly O'Grady found out scammers are targeting those looking for love or companies looking to hire. Could we start off with a, a brief introduction into yourself? You're watching a job interview, yeah, but sure. the applicant so on the left the isn't exactly real. I've been working in a software engineering area about 10 years. Same with him. So I've been a first tech engineer for um, 11 years. Both are AI deepfakes, their faces altered, attempting to get a job with a stolen identity. Vijay Balasubramanian is the CEO of Pindrop Security, a company that detects AI fraud. He says they've seen a 900 percent increase in AI scams in two years. Last year, the Justice Department accused North Korea of attempting to infiltrate more than 300 U.S. corporations with fake job applicants trying to extort the companies and gain access to private data. Are these tools being used just for job scams? No. We're seeing romance scams. We're seeing elder abuse. We're seeing account takeover, we're seeing hiring scams. AI deepfakes are easy to make. In less than 10 minutes, his team made one of me. Hey, Kelly, I am so humbled and honored. First off, thank you, Vijay, for having me. In another office, Pinrop Vice President D. Russell posed as me applying for a job. The ability to distinguish real humans from AI-generated ones is becoming critical. Oh, this is weird. I'm going to have bad dreams tonight. Their technology immediately flagged it as synthetic, but you can spot inconsistencies. Initially, what I noticed is that the mouth wasn't moving exactly with what she was saying, but I could very much see myself being on a Zoom with someone, having this experience before where I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a really bad connection. But with voice calls, I'm ready when you are. It's nearly indistinguishable. What do you think would make you a really good candidate here? I believe my experience as an on-air correspondent covering high stakes business stories, combined with my storytelling skills, makes me a strong candidate. That was not a real person. It's just a bot that's been trained on just your LinkedIn profile and 30 seconds of your speech. Oh, I'm not buying it. It's wild, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. It's interesting. That was Kelly O'Grady reporting, by the way. Pindrop tells us the biggest threat that they're seeing is AI bots impersonating customers to steal money, mm. personal data from things like banks, insurance companies, and even healthcare providers. Yeah, so, you know, while experts say this tech is going to keep getting smarter, they believe humans will too. And if we keep dedicating resources toward AI development, you know, we'll be able to outsmart it. Wild.